It is a gathering of the leadership of anti-corruption agencies from across the sub-region. The network will share experiences, deliberate and exchange intelligence on how to stop corruption in West Africa. This, Nigeria's government says, is responsible for the recent coup which have taken place in West Africa. Uh, we're faced with even more challenges um, around the world and uh, real stresses uh, in our countries. And, uh, and it is really time to uh, re-energize and to refocus and mobilize uh, our peoples in the fight uh, against uh, corruption. Uh, because, as was noted in one of the earlier uh, uh, speeches, we are seeing almost um, a going back to our bad old ways with uh, coups uh, around our sub-region, a sub-region that uh, not too many years ago was recognized as being one of the most democratic uh, sub-regions uh, uh, on the continent. Nigeria's anti-corruption agencies say they are committed to championing the fight against illicit financial flows and strengthening good practices on assets returns for sustainable development in West Africa. The question we should ask ourselves, amongst others at this meeting, is what role has corruption played in the resurgence of military coups in the West African sub-region? Every student of West African history knows that social discontent is always a factor in the forceful takeover by military junters. The current wave of coups is, however, occasioned by a mixed bag of issues within the sub-region, including regional political instability, insecurity, the absence of rule of law, weak institutions, and of course corruption in government and in governance. The hosting of the fifth AGA by Nigeria is therefore a demonstration of our further commitment to fight against economic and financial crimes and the willingness to continue taking the lead in the regional effort in borderless investigation, information and intelligence sharing, as well as asset recovery. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has been elected president of the network of national anti-corruption institutions in West Africa. Mr. Bawa succeeds Francis Ben Kaifala of the African Union Advisory Board and head of the Syria Loan Anti-Corruption Agency, whose three-year tenure ends on March 31st, 2022. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.